Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Roan. After a marathon sitting, the PM's religious discrimination bill has passed through the lower house. Several Liberal MPs crossed the floor with Labor managing to introduce amendments to the Sex Discrimination Act to better protect gay and transgender students from discrimination at religious schools. Several other Labor amendments were voted down. Opposition leader Anthony Albanese has told the House his party will continue to fight in the Senate though. The truth is that no student should be discriminated against because of who they are. Labor will protect all students here in this chamber, in the Senate and if need be after the next election. We are absolutely committed to this. The Prime Minister's office denies any involvement in a bid to silence former Australian of the Year Grace Tame in her criticism of Scott Morrison. During her address at the National Press Club yesterday, Ms Tame claimed she received a threatening phone call from a senior member of an unnamed government-funded organisation last year. The government has launched an investigation into the claims, but Shadow Minister for Women Tanya Plibersek doesn't think much will come of it. The problem is that... We've got a government that's more focused on being seen to do something than than actually changing these stubborn statistics. The head of ASIO says foreign spies are using Tinder and other dating apps to recruit Australians. Mike Burgess has delivered his annual threat assessment overnight, saying thousands of Aussies with access to sensitive information have been targeted. He says the pandemic has accelerated activity. Online radicalisation is nothing new, but COVID sent that into overdrive. Australia now has another weapon in its COVID booster arsenal. The Therapeutic Goods Administration has provisionally approved the AstraZeneca jab as a booster for those over the age of 18. It says Pfizer and Moderna jabs remain the preferred choice for third doses, though. And a zoo in the UK is pulling out all the stops to get its monkey breeding program back on track. The Trentham Monkey Forest in England has hired a Marvin Gaye personator to belt out the singer's hits, including Get It On, to get the primates in the mood. Taking a look at sport, triple Olympian Belle Brockhoff has finished fourth in the women's snowboard cross in Beijing. She fell behind early in the four-woman medal decider at the Winter Olympics. While Melbourne victory has gone down 1-0 to Wellington in the A-League. And in entertainment news, it looks like Kanye West is hanging on to hope he and Kim Kardashian will reunite. He's posted snaps of his ex and their kids to Instagram, asking God to bring the family back together. Meantime, his new squeeze, Julia Fox, says she's feeling confident about their relationship. Relationship. Speaking on a podcast, she says she's not too concerned about him trying to get back with his ex. Listen, I'm I'm sure there's still some sort of residual feelings, and it's like it's normal, it's human, you know. But I also like know that he's with me now, so yeah. and that's all that matters. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of the update. 